Hi everyone and welcome back to Amy's Art House. Today I am making a paper more peco with Park Lane neutral papers, some scrap pink paper, and a really cute background with like coffee beans and teacups. I hope that you guys enjoy this one. I am going through a bit of a change on this channel, again, because every time I reach another 50 Pokemon, I seem to try to rebrand a little and like change things up a little bit so you've noticed probably that there's a different intro. And I'm also doing shorts now because YouTube is starting to promote those. If they're not your thing, totally okay. Um, but I'm gonna keep doing those and I'll try to make sure that they're like always something a little different than the long videos so there's at least some value in them. Aside from starting to learn how to film YouTube shorts, not a whole lot going on for me. I am kind of taking some time to rest. If you've watched the past like 10 or so Pokemon papercraft videos, you might have noticed I was a little stressed. My car was breaking down, life was busy, but right now things are good. Uh, and it does help that I'm not putting any more extra pressure on myself because I was really nervous about getting my 100 paper Pokemon out into the world. And I did it. I accomplished it. It's done. I can move on. It's a wonderful feeling. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you're finding some good crafts to make. Let me know down in the comments what types of arts and crafts you are up to. I am just back on my Pokemon. I keep thinking that one of these days I'm going to get bored of Pokemon and not care about it anymore. And that day still hasn't come. Um, I'm very surprised that I haven't gotten bored of this. I do have some other projects that I want to get done, but still Pokemon is definitely the focus. I don't know how many of you guys watched some of the like Pokemon Day, Pokemon 25 celebration stuff, but I watched the big announcement on Friday about the new games coming out, and I also watched like the little Post Malone concert. Uh, I have to say, I probably won't buy any of the new games. Pokemon Snap is tempting because I loved the original one. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of them. Uh, I think the other new Switch game coming out, the uh, Legends game, looks really cool, but I don't know. I, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't necessarily need it. And I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised by the Post Malone concert. I loved the graphics of it all. I loved seeing all of the like background stuff. It made me super emotional and I was really surprised. I think it's because of like being kind of self-isolated in quarantine lately. All of the like nostalgic games and shows and things just make me feel so warm and fuzzy. And honestly, I know that those warm fuzzy feelings are not from Post Malone. I mean, a lot of his music isn't super like thought-provoking or deep, at least to me. Sometimes I've liked his music. There's been periods in my life where I've really enjoyed listening to it, but I don't know. I When they picked him for a concert, I was like, why, why did they pick Post Malone? But it worked. It did work. We'll see what happens with like the Katy Perry collaborations that are coming, and I think there's some more musical artists that they're going to announce. We will just have to wait and see. So you can see at this point in the craft, I finally decided what size eyes to give more Peko. I wasn't sure which hole punches to use, but I finally have it starting to come together. I know it's unusual for me to make more Gen 8 Pokemon. I haven't made many. I really like more Peko though. I think he's pretty cute. I do have a lot of plans to make the Gen 1 Pokemon, but I might not film all of it because it took me eight months to make 100 Pokemon and to do the videos for each. And I'm realizing that to create my entire Pokedex, it might not be sustainable for me to film every single one. Uh, I might end up including bits as shorts. I might just do like a longer video that's like touring what I've made, but I'll still include everybody. I It's really important to me that you guys are here for my crafting but I also have to get it done. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for supporting me on this. I can't believe the like really kind comments and nice people that I've met making Pokemon, especially as someone that used to be so shy and scared of going online. It's been a wonderful, wonderful time for me. And it looks like I am wrapping up this craft. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you find more Peko cute. I hope that you don't mind my rambling. And I will be back again, probably with a few shorts and then with another longer video next week. Take care, guys, and stay safe and have fun crafting. Yeah, that sounds like a good outro. Bye!